All right, I'm Jeremy Wilker from Tweak Digital, and I'm going to show you one way you could set up a kick-ass HD home theater on the cheap. You can have a huge cinematic experience in your own home without spending a lot of money. So here's how to do it. Okay, I'm going to make a couple assumptions. First is that you uh, have uh, a place for this thing to go. You also have ambient light control. This is a projector-based system, so you can't have huge windows in your loft. You got to have some blackout curtains or put it in your basement. You need a stereo system. I'm assuming you already have one. You got to have time and ability, and you got to be thrifty, and you want to build a deal here. So that's what we're going to do. Here's what I've built in my basement. It's a 96-inch screen. I've got velvet curtains for the theater look. I've got rope lighting for ambience and all that, and I've got speakers mounted around the place. Uh, just to give you a sense of scale, the next slide shows what a six-foot-tall person looks like next to that. And you can see that to get this kind of thing with a flat panel TV, you're going to have to spend a lot more money, and you need four of them, okay? So a projector is the way to go if you can deal with the assumptions I mentioned before. So keep that price in mind, 7,200 bucks. We're gonna come in way below that at the end. All right, the first thing is you need a high def projector. If you're thrifty, go with 720p. You're still gonna be able to use 1080p signals. They're gonna look great. I think Panasonic makes really good projectors. They don't blow out your highlights and their shadows aren't all muddy. They're cinema calibrated, so they look great right out of the box. Get yourself a low profile projector mount so you can get it right up on the ceiling. It's not hanging down bonking, bonking you on the head. Okay, then get a screen. You can go anywhere and get a screen. Go to Micro Center. Uh, these are about 140 bucks for a basic one. You could get one that's motorized, so it goes up and down. You could get one that's silver, so it's got some gain and boosts your signal a little bit. Uh, then you're going to grab some over-the-air HD programming. Uh, digital TV is here, and there's 23-some stations pumping out HD signals right now. AntennaWeb.org will tell you what antenna you need for your zip code. Then go to AntennasDirect.com and find out which antenna you want. Then get a Mac Mini. This is going to be your media center. Get a refurb one because it costs less and still has a warranty or just buy one online. But whatever you do, make sure it's got a DVD player and DVD burner in it and get yourself a wireless keyboard and wireless mouse so you can sit back on the, mouse, on the couch and control this thing. Okay, then get an iTV hybrid. This turns your Mac Mini into a TV slash TiVo so you can grab all this free over there HD content to your hard drive. You can edit it, you can burn it, uh, you can convert it and it's really, really cool. Uh, the converting and burning, though, it's really processor intensive. So what you're going to want to do is get an ITV or a H264 Turbo. This is a new thing. It come out, just came out. It's got uh, YouTube presets. It can work with iMovie and Final Cut Pro. It works with pro cameras. It works with consumer cameras. It works with everything that you're recording and grabbing off the Internet and all that. Then get some cables. Go to monoprice.com. Don't pay for giant, expensive MON whatever cables because they're really overpriced. So uh, you can get a DVI to HDMI cable that goes from your Mac Mini monitor port to your projector and then get an Ethernet cable so you can hook this up to the Internet. Okay, then go to boxy.tv, sign up, download the uh, uh, media server app. This is a great interface. It streams from Hulu and Juiced and Netflix and the big picture from the Boston newspaper and all that. It's really cool. Um, uh, and it's free, open source. If, if you love movies and that's why you're going to build this thing, you probably already have Netflix, so you've already got streaming. Uh, on-demand video with whatever account you have. It works great on a Mac, works great on a PC. Just click watch now and away you go. So, <clears throat> all right. Then cancel your cable TV because you're already getting all this stuff for free or you're streaming it, all right? But you gotta keep that cable internet or DSL because you need the speed. Uh, for about 52 bucks a month, you can get a really fast uh, cable connection or you could, you could jump up to their 50 megabit uh, service, but that's gonna blow your budget on this. Then you probably already have a whole bunch of media uh, sitting around, CDs, DVDs, stuff you're burning, et cetera. So go to Ikea, buy some cheap shelves, paint them up, customize them with extra shelving, and put everything on there. And then you're not going to want to look at this stuff, so hide it away behind the velvet curtains that you're going to go and get. You, you can go to Walmart and get them really, really cheap, so just hold your breath, run in there, and run out, and then uh, <laughs> hang them up, and, and you've got a little theater look. Now, uh, to get access to all the stuff behind these curtains, you need some hinge curtain rods. You can get these at Hirschfields or other home places, and they're totally worth it because they also keep your little kids from messing around with all your sweet media that you've got. So get those, 100 bucks, totally worth it. Okay, then uh, you're gonna need some ambiance, right? You just don't want a bare basement wall, so you're gonna build these little uh, wooden boxes that go along uh, little soffits, and you're gonna put your rope lights in there. Uh, since it's Earth Day, get the LED ones, it's more friendly. Uh, you can also run all your cables up here so you don't have to rip through your walls and ceilings, so that's really great. Then get an iPhone remote. You all, everyone's got one in here, I see. Uh, Apple remote is free, but only works with Front Row. Boxy only works with Boxy, so get Remote Buddy, spend 30 bucks. It controls everything, even Keynote. 
Okay, then uh, I think that is it. So in summary, you've built a 100-inch HD home theater with a media server. You've got free HD content coming from various sources. You've got a theater like Ambient, and you only expect 2,660 bucks. So enjoy your movies. <laughs>